usually you get on one of these to get to your destination. But we're already here at the National Railway Museum. We're literally walking around on our own. So let's see what we can find. So this particular train was used on the southwest route, 19th century through to the 20th. This part is a second and third class carriage. I mean, it's a bit nicer than the ones we get now, admittedly. Trains had opened a whole world from one part of the country to another, transporting all sorts of goods like fruit and veg, and up here, fish. <laughs> This is quite incredible, really, because this is one of the old Pullmans, and under here is where we're connecting to all the tracks. And look how massive this carriage is. It's absolutely huge. And just take a look at all these railway vehicles. Oh, now that's a proper old-fashioned train carriage, isn't it? It just seems so far in the distance, doesn't it? The old coaches had coconut one particular winter. Can you imagine coconut to stop your feet freezing? Letters used to get loaded here and then transported around the country. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look at all of this. This is my like pigeonhole where all the letters used to go in by postcode. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an early form of email. On oh, one of the brakes. And they use these hands to control the brakes, I'm guessing. Oh, that's quite incredible. From the 1920s, third-class passengers would be expected to sleep upright, all the way from London to Scotland. Can you imagine that? All they would get is a crude pillow and a rug. And in this carriage is the third-class dining carriage, where people would have to bring their own picnic. Check this out, it's a brake lever. And then if you look inside, you can see all the inner workings. And this one is called the Crab. It was used for 40 years from 1920. It was used to carry passengers and goods. But the locomotive was the same one that used to carry the royal family too. And this beauty here, and it is a beauty, was used by Queen Victoria during her marriage with Albert to go from London to their country residence. Check it out inside, it's super plush. And this one here was used by our current monarch, Queen Elizabeth, and her family during the Second World War. And it's said to be bombproof. It's been on a number of years, and now we have electricity. And that's a sight you don't want to see. But check it out, it's huge. And this one is currently used for the Eurostar. One thing I'm super impressed about, accessibility. They have braille maps of stations. This beast here is a 1960s diesel Suzzler engine. The diesel engine powered a generator to create electricity. The train was propelled along the track. It was all part of British Rail's modernisation in the 1950s. Check this out, it's the Pierre de la Resistance. It's an actual replica of Robert Stevenson's 1829 rocket. It opened up a world of steam locomotive travel. And this carriage ran from Liverpool to Manchester and it proved that train travel could work. It was very much a prototype for the rest of the country. And the other good thing is we actually get decent food here. So I'm just having a nice munch on a baguette and a cream tea. We're on a steam train ride, not any steam train. It's the replica of the rocket. <laughs> smell of the smoke. It's, it's so cool and Marty's enjoying himself. This here, believe it or not, was an ambulance on wheels to transport sick and injured soldiers during the First World War. And they had to have everything on board from operating theatres to staff living quarters. Let's go and take a look. I came across a young educated German in my ward with his left leg off from the hip and his right from below the knee and a bad shell wound in his arm. I had an hour's most thrilling and heated conversation with him in German. He was very down on the English sisters in hospital. It seems as they hated him. And this in here was the nurse's mess and you can probably see it's quite comfortable in here. Oh my god. 
Oh, wow. And this is what a steam train underneath looks like. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. This is absolutely fantastic. For anyone who's blind or low vision, you can feel absolutely everything. It's the National Railway Museum in York. Thank you.